the uh, linear cruiserweight champion of the world, David Hay, here in Las Vegas for the Kawasaki Hopkins fight. Uh, what's your quick thought on this fight tonight? I think it's going to be a good fight, a tactical fight. I don't think it's, I don't think there's going to be too many knockdowns, too many people getting hurt in this fight. I think it's going to be a tactical fight. It's all about round by round. This fight's going to be one round by round. I'm looking forward to it. You know, not, not a David Hay type of not fight. Not a David Hay type of fight, but an entertaining fight in a different in a different way. I'm all about explosion in front, big bombs from the start. He's both both of these guys, both of these both of these guys are tacticians, and that's what I like to see sometimes. So it's not all about a knockout every single fight. It is when I'm fighting, but when other people fight, like these two guys, they haven't got big knockout percentages. But you know, it's, it's, what they do is pure quality, and I'm just happy, happy to be a part of it. We're six weeks uh, from uh, you just getting big fight, Enzo Macronelli back at home. Yeah. Uh, Time to reflect uh, six weeks after the fight? No, it went exactly how I wanted it to have, you know, it was, uh, it was easy, easy money at the end of the day. Everybody wanted to see this fight, you know, was, the hype back in England was crazy. Everybody was going mad for this fight, people have been wanting this fight for years. And I was going to go up to heavyweight before that fight, but for this one last fight, I thought, okay then, you know, everything seemed right, it was in my hometown, the money was, uh, the, money was the biggest, the most money, nearly tw it was twice as much as any other cruiserweight has been paid in history. Who am I to turn that type of cheddar down? You know what I mean. So, you know, I've got I've got these big big weekends out in Vegas. You know, I need that. I need that. I need them chips to be frying down at that crap stable. If, if, if Enzo Macronelli was say from the United States, you probably would not have stayed for that fight. No, no, no. If he wasn't from Britain and I wasn't getting paid, I was getting paid. No way. Now a waste on, of time. On to the big boys. You yeah. made no bones about it. Going up the heavyweight. Yeah. Uh, when uh, can we expect you in, in, in the ring uh, as a heavyweight full time? As I'm a heavyweight now, that's it, I'm done. Heavyweight championship of the world is mine, it's just a matter of time when I get there. I've got two and a half years to achieve my goals, as I said, I'm not going to box into my 31st year. So, it's all about putting the, uh, the pedal to the metal, going up there and taking out them bums. You know, you've got Klitschko, you've got Samuel Peters both talking smack, you've got uh, Shannon Briggs talking smack, you've got Hasim Rackman. You know, Galot has even said a few things. So you've got a few guys out there, you know, a few names that people know, that a few people that think I'm going to get knocked out when I get up and see these big guys. It's not going to happen, you know, the, the haymaker is too fast. People think it's just the power, it's the speed, uh, the agility. I don't get hit like these big bums get hit. Are you going on record calling Klitschko and Peter? You I'm calling, calling them bums? all of them out. Anybody, you, over, two, them bums anybody out. over 250 pounds, I'm calling you out, you big fat bums. <laughs> In a perfect world, uh, give, me, give me your first two or three. Who, is he rocking? My first fight would be Klitschko. Klitschko. In a perfect world, that is it. Please. And then I'll fight him in a rematch again and beat him again. Then probably beat Samuel Peters because he's got a title. And whoever else has got the titles, I'll fight him. How about the big fella? If he, if he, if he beats that the guy big, of... hairy freak. <laughs> he's, he's, he's disgusting. I'd have to get him shaved. I'd put him tight into the contract. They would have to shave that hairy bastard. So, so, <laughs> so if he beats a guy of... Uh, that, that's, uh... I'll shave him down and knock him out. Ooh, ooh, uh, um, so, uh, there's a lot of rumors. Hasim Rock, he may be the first guy. Whoever, whoever's around, they're getting knocked out. Hasim Rackman, whoever, they're all getting knocked Whoever, I don't care, all getting knocked out. Would you prefer to campaign in America mostly? Or... Wherever people want to see me fight, whether it's London, America, Vegas, Australia, Russia, I'll go wherever. I don't care. As long as the ring and a referee that can count to 10, fight's mine. I'm afraid to ask this question, but what do you want to say in closing? <laughs> I'm the man, they're all bums, every single last one of them. You heard them, they're all bums, the haymakers come up the heavyweight, we'll see you around the way.